this episode we are going to learn about the authorization in laravel that means simply the gates and the policies and in this particular episode we are talking about gates and in the next episode we will talk about the policies so with that welcome back to bitfumes and i am your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram okay so what are gates and what are policies so gates are just like the closer what that closer means so i will open this in sublime and if i go to web.php file you can see gate is just like giving a function and policies is like just giving the controller so this function can be defined on the controller itself and we will define the controller name and then the method let's say index obviously controller spelling is different okay so but what they do gates and policies actually restrict user according to some information we have on our database and we authorize or or restrict or allow the user to access particular part of our website or our app so let's see how we can do that so imagine we have this project and i will simply call php artisan make auth so i will say php artisan make auth so i have my authorization system here and in my sql pro i have already created these users so i have three users here bitfumes ankur and satak shrivastava so suppose you have a website and you have a subscription model that means you have a system where something can be only accessed by the subscribers so how will you restrict user so obviously in the user table or somewhere any kind of relationship you have something that particular user is subscribed or not so let's just create that scenario so i will create one more field here called sub simply means subscriber and that should be boolean and we have let's say give me bitfumes as one and ankur as zero okay so now we have two user one is subscribed and other is not subscribed so obviously we will have some kind of system where after login because we have to check that login is done or not so let's just log in here so i will log in here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and after login there is some problem which says my database is not connected so i will connect my database so that should be test and done okay so refresh and again it says because i have to restart my server yeah okay more time yeah okay so here suppose i will go to home page and i have a subscribe button here and i will land on particular page so that will always that will only be done if the user is a subscriber or not okay so let's create that things first so i will go to resources then views then you can see we have this home page on the welcome dot plate we have these things so i will say obviously we have to check if the user is authorized that means in this case if the user is not not authorized not logged in why we are going to show all these tabs so let's create a tab similar to this but in that case what i will give i will give subs as a url and i will say here subscribers so let's go refresh yeah we have the subscribers but we don't have this subs route so i will create on this web.php file so get subs and i will give a closer and here i will return a view called subs simple so create that view let's create a view called subs dot blade dot php and i will say php html5 markup then h1 then 
this page is only for subscribers okay very nice so let's go to this page and yeah this page is only for subscriber but if I log in as uncle one two three four five six and go to home page even now I can access this page but we have to restrict this here comes the gates so how will you define gate so gate to define a gate I will go to my app folder and the providers folder and the auth service provider here we will define our gate so gate is defining and the name of the gate is I will say subs only okay and it will all it will only get for my case the user detail so I will say if dollar user arrow subs is equal to one then return true otherwise return false very simple to understand so let's restrict our user but how we will define that particular user is able to see or not so here comes the thing how will you authorize the action so you can use this thing so I will go and paste it here and move this inside here so if gate allow for subs only that should be only and we will give the information of our user so auth user okay so if gate allow for this then return this view else I will return you are not a subscriber okay subscribe now okay so let's go and refresh and you can see it says you are not a subscriber subscribe now so that means if I now go home page log out login as a bitfumes.gmail.com and try to access that subscriber page and yes I can watch this page I can access this page but here is some issue you can see I am a subscriber so I can get this but suppose I will log in again as uncle 456 and you can see I'm not a subscriber but subscriber button is here so it's not a good idea to give this subscriber button and user click and got this message and get annoyed you have to hide this button actually you have to remove this button not hiding actually so again I will go to welcome.blade.php here I can simply say can and hit tab because I have Laravel blade package for the sublime that's why it's doing this so at can or at end can so I will say subs only the gate name and I will provide auth user and in between this I will provide this one so you can see because the Ankur user is not a subscriber so this method will return false and it will not going to show this one so refresh and it's gone okay so this is the very cool part of using gates and this is the way you can authorize any user for any kind of things you want you can also give any information by here so you can say hello then you can access this on the gate so you can access this like here so you will say message okay like that okay so I think you get the idea and we will meet in the next episode to see how policies and what are how policies work and what are the difference between gates and the policies so don't forget to share this video with your developer friend so that everyone get the knowledge of this thing called level and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on 
Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And you can support me on the patreon.com which is a crowdfunding website. You can donate $1 or more as you if you want. So we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.